fourth graders. Uh, today we are going to see present continuous as a future. Como un futuro. So if you say future would be tomorrow or could be next week, next month, this is future. Tomorrow, next week, next month, okay? And, but this is present and then continues is ing. This is present and this is continues to the verb. So we're going to see an example. He is cooking. He is cooking tomorrow. Okay, he is cooking tomorrow. So we say he, then we put is. Then we put cooking with ing, is cooking, the verb with ing, tomorrow. Está cocinando mañana. He's cooking tomorrow. We can say that. Present continues as future. So we say with he, she, it, we say is plus ing. So this is the example. He is cooking tomorrow. They, we, and you are Plus verb with ing. So we say they are taking English classes next week. They are taking. Don't forget that we have two things. Present, verb to be, continuous ing. Present, continuous. They are taking English classes next week. We have with I. So we say I goes with M plus the verb with ING. So we say I am buying food tomorrow. I am buying food tomorrow. Just estoy comprando comida mañana. I buy food tomorrow. Why? Because I have to have food in the house because of the pandemic. So we have to buy food, much food tomorrow or the next day and we have to have food in the house all right so now i'm going to give you sentences with flashcards and we have a part so we can say my family and i are going to the park are going to go my family and i are going to the park tomorrow my family and i are going to the park tomorrow. We say, let's see, mail carrier. The mail carrier is bringing mail to my house. The mail carrier is bringing mail to my house. See, this is the mail carrier. Now we use internet more than a mail, a mailman. This is a mail carrier. All right. We have shirt. I am wearing a new shirt tomorrow. I am wearing a new shirt tomorrow. Let's see. Dish. My mother is putting or putting the dishes on the table. And he says setting the table. When we put everything on the table, we say my mother is setting the table. My mother is setting the table with all the dishes on the table. Is setting the table. Volcano. We say, and then we, we say, my mother is setting, I forgot to put the test. My mother is setting the, the table for uh, next week or for tomorrow or for uh, in five minutes, okay? That would be future. Volcano. My family and I are visiting the volcano in two months. In two months in the future. In two months. Telephone. Look at this telephone. It's very old telephone. We say the telephone is ringing in a few minutes because I'm going to call my mother. It's ringing. Maybe it's ringing tomorrow, but maybe it's not ringing tomorrow, so it's ringing tomorrow. Or we have, mm -hmm. I am painting or 
putting on, you can say, I am putting on mascara in 10 minutes or tomorrow because I'm going to a party. So I'm putting on mascara in my eyes, mascara, uh, tomorrow for a party. The lion is coming to the zoo tomorrow. The lion is coming to the zoo tomorrow. I am eating a hamburger. I am eating a hamburger in 10 minutes. Not now, in 10 minutes or in half an hour. I am eating a hamburger in 10 minutes. Oh, I am eating a hamburger tonight, later. Okay, building. We are visiting a big building next week. Or we are visiting a skyscraper. A skyscraper is a huge building tomorrow. Okay, or next week, or next month. The bear is coming towards us, is coming towards us soon, okay? Not now, soon, okay? We're going to eliminate some animals. We talked about the animals, and this is the last one I'm going to show you. In, uh, we are going to the airport. We are going to the airport next year, not this year, next year, not now, but we are going to the airport next year because we are going to travel to United States and go to Disney World, okay? So what we were seeing is, is R or F plus ING, we put ING, but it's for the future, for tomorrow, for next week, for in a few minutes, okay? So this is what we saw in this moment. Present is and continues ing to the verb. And we have the example, he is cooking tomorrow. They are taking English classes next week. You have to put is, are, and plus the verb with ing. All right, kids? So I hope you understood me. See you next class. Take care. Love you. And next class, we're going to have another topic. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you watch the video. Love you.